Oh, there you are. You're the maid we've been looking for. And you are... Estelle, that wasn't very polite. My apologies, where would the bracers killed? We're looking for the mayor so we can confirm the details of a job she requested. Oh, I see. Please, let me introduce myself. I am her maid, Lilla. I see to the mayor's daily needs. Being served hand and foot, huh? The worlds we live in are really different. So where is the mayor, if you don't mind me asking? Didn't she come here to pray? She's playing hooky from her religious duties. Huh? I'm sure she's probably in the middle of inspecting the situation in the market. She took off after telling me to pray for her, too. I don't know how I should say this, but the mayor seems like she has quite a unique personality. <laughs> well, doesn't she sound interesting? Even if she weren't the mayor, I'd be kind of intrigued. There is no doubt she is a capable person, although she does have a bit of an unrestrained aspect to her at times. Anyway, I'm on my way to meet her right now. I don't mean to sound impolite, but would you mind waiting at her residence? I will let her know you're there. Um, I don't know how I feel about going back there empty-handed. Would it be alright if we came along with you instead? Come with me to meet the mayor. Well, I guess it's okay. Let's make our way over to the Bose Market then. Right, to the mall market. Flea market. No, it's definitely like a mall. Ooh, electronic. The Bose Market. Wow, this place is really huge. I wonder where the mayor is. Well, she does stand out in a crowd, so I'm sure you'll find her right away. Oh, just as I thought. The two of you should be absolutely ashamed of yourselves trying to force up the price of food at a time like this by buying it all up. You're not fit to be merchants and bows. But ma'am, we were just thinking about how to increase sales for the bows market in general. I don't want to hear any more from you. If it were other products, it would be a different story. But making undue profits on necessities will lead to negative publicity for the market. Return these goods to their original prices at once. All right. We'll do as you say. Now, I don't doubt your passion for the Bose market, but I want you to understand this. Commerce, when you get right down to it, is the established relationship of trust between people. And believe me, if you do business with that in mind, you can become wonderful merchants in bows. Yes, ma'am. We'll do our best. Phew. Madame. Lilla, so you came, huh? I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. Actually, you did a wonderful job, as always. But never mind that. These people are here to see you. Please come back home immediately. Oh, that emblem is. Could you be the bracers I requested? Yep, that's us, but... So does that mean that you're... Hee <laughs> hee, forgive me for not introducing myself. My name is Maybell. I am the owner of this market and the mayor of the Bose region. This restaurant looks super expensive. Are we really going to have a meeting here? I often use this place for business meetings. The food is quite good, too. I tell you what, though. I had heard the mayor of Bose was a woman, but I never imagined you would be this young. Based on looks alone, I would guess you're only four or five years older than me. Actually, I still feel like I'm nothing more than an unworthy successor to my father. My late father was the previous mayor, and... All I did was inherit the rights to the Bose market and the political foundation which he set up. That's a rather unravished self-evaluation if I've ever heard one. After all, I'm just the daughter of a businessman, so there's no sense in getting high hat about it. But anyway, would it be alright to go over the details of my request with you again? Sure, that'd be fine. Well. What I would like to ask that you do is investigate the disappearance of the missing airship and bring closure to the incident. I am of the opinion that bracers would bring about much more desirable results concerning this incident than the army is currently producing. The reason being, we're not fighting a war, we're trying to find answers and solve a mystery. 
people, I for one would be honored. But don't you think that you're overreacting just a bit? Uh, just call it a businesswoman's prerogative. The fact of the matter is, an influential businessman was aboard the airliner that disappeared. In addition, if the Royal Army continues to keep the Bose airspace as a no-fly zone, business is going to suffer. Just when business had been booming prior to the Queen's birthday celebration too. I see, so this is an economic appeal, right? Yes, and it's something which I can't trust to be left up to the army alone. So what do you think? Will you accept my request for your help in this matter? Well, we have our own reasons for wanting to investigate the incident, and we'd like to accept the job, but the army has been actively trying to exclude bracers from anything having to do with the incident. So, uh, I don't suppose you could pull the mayor card for us, could you? Maybe show the army who's running this show? Excluding bracers, huh? This must have something to do with General Morgan, then. That man is just like bracers from the beginning. So you know who the general is, Mayor Maybell? He is a friend of my late father's. Tentatively speaking, we have a passing acquaintance with one another. So I may just be able to do something for you. Meaning? Lilla. Yes, madam. Lilla produced a sheet of letter paper and a fountain pen from her pocket and handed them to Mayor Maybell. I guess this should be sufficient. Here, please take this with you. Receive Mayor Maybell's letter. What's this letter for? It's a letter of request to General Morgan. It is to inform him of my request for information about the incident as the official responsible for the region. I think this should be enough to get some information out of the army. I see. But I wonder if that bracer-hating general will even meet with us at all. I think it would be a very pretty safe bet as long as you hide your identities. You would probably be best served by saying that you are messengers for the mayor. I don't know if I like the sound of that. It feels like we're lying or something. It's not lying, we just not be telling him everything. Since this is a time-sensitive situation, I think we should be practical about it. I guess you're right, Joshua. By the way, where do we need to go to meet General Morgan? There is a fort called the Hecken Gate on the international border to the north of Bose. You should be able to find the general there. All right, everyone, I'm counting on you. You just leave everything to us. If we find out anything, we'll come and let you know. I'll be looking forward to some good news. Goodbye and have a wonderful day. Goodbye. All right, let's get going, shall we? The Hecken Gate is at the end of the Elizen Road to the north of the East Bose Highway. In short, we need to head out the east gate, then turn north thereafter, right? Alrighty then, Hecken Gate, here we come. Alright, before we go to the ba military base, let's of course go to the guild and see if there's any jobs to do. Nope, looks like all I have to do is the ingredient seeker, which is at the, well, on the way to the military, military base. So let's go and uh, get to the Hecken Gate. Alright, so where we need to be is right up here. We just got, usually these guys won't let us pass, but we'll have to talk to them now because we have the letter from the mayor, they'll let us through. Hold on right there. The Hecken Gate is currently not permitting civilians passing through this checkpoint. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed to pass this point. Sorry to make you waste your breath, but we are authorized to be here. Estelle priest the mayor Maybell's letter with a flourish. This is Mayor Maybell's. The mayor has requested that we come and speak with General Morgan about the status of the search. As you can see, this document is official. But if you don't want to let us through, I'm sure you'll be hating life later. Um, I guess there's nothing we can do but let you through. Are you serious about this? Don't you know Mayor Maybell is the one in charge over the entire region? You can't just ignore that. 
I guess you're right. All right. We'll grant you permission to pass, but make sure you don't cause any problems. Whatever happens, never forget that we share a border with the Empire. Yeah, yeah, we got it already. All right then, let us through. All right, so let's go through, and along this road we will find the creatures that will give us the poultry for that quest, which I believe are these creatures. These Romera. And there, wow, that was incredibly easy. Did we get any tender poultry? Yep, we got one, just gotta do that four more times. Alright, we are now at three tender poultry, we just need one more. Uh, last time I did this quest, it took a lot longer to get all five, because they just would not drop. No poultry from that one. Guess we'll fight something else. What's this guy? A new enemy here. This is a... I think it's pronounced Hersfilliger. 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 Very weak against fire, this Hersfilliger. Wow, now there's a lot of health to do. Well, that attack really didn't do much damage. First flicker. Still alive? Oh damn. This guy's some serious business. Alright, and that should be the last tender poultry we need. Let me just double check. One more. All right, now we definitely have enough tender poultry. Let's head up to the military base, which should be just beyond this road. Yep, it's right up here. This is the Hecken Gate. It's freaking huge. Of course it's huge. It acts as the sole entrance to the Empire and is the rampart that protects Liberal from foreign threats. After it was destroyed in the war ten years ago, a much more robust wall is built in its place. Standard military reaction, bigger equals better. Which means that beyond this point is no longer Liberal. Yeah. It's the territory of the Eberronian Empire, which stands beneath the emblem of the Golden Stallion. The Eberronian Empire. Well, enough staring for one day. Let's go meet with General Morgan. There's some barracks right there to the side of the gate. Maybe we'll find him in there. Okay, let's go. Before that, I want you to remove those brace emblems you've got pinned on your chest. Things won't be pretty if General Morgan sees those. Oh, I forgot all about that. Estelle and Joshua reluctantly remove their bracer emblems. Somehow I feel all weird doing this. Yeah, there's something that just doesn't feel right about this. Don't worry, that's proof that you started adjusting to being a bracer. Alright, let's go talk to the general. Mm, not over there. Let's take a look around the base first. There's a building there. Some guy. Who are you? You're not a guard. I'm thinking about visiting the Empire. Doesn't look like anyone's here to fill out the necessary paperwork for leaving the country, though. Well, it doesn't really matter to me since I just live my life on a whim. In fact, the only reason I decided to travel to the Empire is, well, because it occurred to me. Alright. Looks like the only building we can go into is this blue one. Okay, it's... who are you? Talk to you. Good day and welcome to our humble establishment on the outskirts of Bose. Since this is a bar, we've got wine to drink and food to eat. Just don't expect anything too elaborate. Talk to this guy. What a surprise. This is my first time eating liberal cooking, but it was rather delectable. I'm glad you liked it. 
if you head to town there's a number of other places where you can eat great liberal cooking as well you enjoy this trip of yours all right that i will do believe me if this is the kind of food i can get in a border dive like this then i truly am in for a feast somewhere in this land well excuse me for having my bar here on the outskirts of the country before you go feasting on the finer things, how about a glass of wine? I know it's not high-end exactly, but the taste is worth the price. Hmm, well then, maybe I will. Do you think this guy is... He looks like a traveler from the Empire, if you ask me. Weird. That blonde-haired man over there is rather handsome and well-dressed, but after talking to him, I found him to be a little odd. And here are you. I'm a merchant from the Eberonian Empire, and I'm on my way to Bose. Okay. Oops. Uh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm just gonna go upstairs. Oh, nothing up here. Guess we'll talk to this guard over here. How in the world did you guys get through? The barricade hasn't been lifted on the Eisen Road yet. We came here on an errand from Mayor Mayville from Bose. Do you think you could get us in to see General Morgan? I also explain what the mayor requested without disclosing his identity. Well, that's understandable. In that case, I could definitely get you in to see the general, but unfortunately he's out at the moment. How comes everyone we try to talk to is out? Oh, he's out. He's actually spearheading a number of searches right now. It looks like our timing was bad. You don't happen to have any idea when he might return, do you? I think he'll be back sometime today. There's a bar in that rest stop over there, so why don't you wait there for him? I'll let you know when he gets back. The bar? I mean the place we were just at? Why is there a bar in a place like this anyway? Obviously because this is the border with the Empire. The screening process for those entering and leaving the country is really strict, so there are a lot of travelers who have to wait quite a bit. That makes a lot of sense. In that case, it's understandable that you would need facilities like an inn and a bar. Well, then we'll take you up on your suggestion and wait over at the bar. All right, back to the bar, I guess. Um, now what? Good day, welcome to the establishment. I talk to you. Let's talk to you again. Good day to you all, fine friends. You appear to be citizens of Liberal, but may I ask if you're traveling to the Empire? Nope, we're just here on an errand. We're not traveling to the Empire. You appear to be a citizen of the Eberonian yourself. What about you? Are you here to visit Liberal Kingdom? Ha, I'm glad you asked. I am indeed a visitor in Liberal, both for work and for pleasure. And you, you say you're running an errand, but I can see your true colors. I know exactly who you are. Who are we? Indeed, your bracers know. How did you know? We removed our brace emblems. Wait, are you trying to tell us that you're in the same profession? It's true that there are guild branches in the Empire, but actually I'm not a bracer. I just know several people in the guild, that's all. And there's an air about you that reminds me of them, so I just thought I'd ask. Those are some excellent deductive reasoning skills you've got. I don't think an amateur could have picked us out of a crowd like that. Are you sure you're a traveler? Ha ha ha, please don't look at me with such suspicious eyes. Those cold flickering eyes of amber, just like a glass of exquisite brandy. You just make me want to kiss you and hold you in my arms. Oh, what? Uh, you're a bold one, aren't you? Wait a minute, you. Are you one of those men who like other boys? You mean, gay? Well, you might be. I just can't help myself when I see something beautiful standing before my eyes. Daughters of serenity, sons of elegance, soprano melodies and cleansing landscapes, masterpieces and stories to move the soul. And last, but not least, the most exquisite in food and drink, for things such as these are those which pique my interest. So you're a pervert, just like I thought. Yep, definitely a pervert. How dreadful it is that genius is misunderstood in every generation. I feel as if my delicate glass heart is about to be broken. You, with your magnificent black hair, please comfort me in my time of need. 
I'm going to have to pass. You've already scared me for life as it is. I've heard strange conversation in my day, but this one is worth remembering. The look on that kid's face. Ha <laughs> ha! 